Hello everyone, I know I just posted a little bit ago, but I really want to get this out before I can't. Um, so, this is my entry for Clover's character design challenge or contest um, for 1k, which, congratulations Clover, that is so amazing, you definitely deserve every single subscriber that you have. Anyways, that's just so awesome. I really, really hope you enjoy my entry as well. I figured character design is not just uh, the way that the character looks, but rather the story behind the character as well. And so I'm just gonna give a few pointers of what was going on through my head while I was designing this character, why I designed it like that, and then just go through the story. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoy. When I first saw the mood board, I was pretty happy because it was cottagecore, and cottagecore is like right up my alley, so that was great. Um, usually when I do mood boards, I tend to not just look at like how it feels or you know like the colors and whatnot but i try to look at like the items inside of the mood board and apply them to my character and um i think i i think i kind of got it here <laughs> um i was pretty happy with what i had i saw that those books and a basket so i definitely took those um but then i also saw like the little rain boots and i thought those were absolutely amazing so i tried to incorporate the color change inside of the dragon anyways uh, but aside from that i definitely looked towards uh like the very warm colors um it kind of inspired hope uh so i definitely wanted something that would allow me to have a lot of color in it so i figured a silk wing you know i guess silk wing or rain wing would have worked but i really liked the idea of that soft natured like butterfly moth sort of thing especially with like gardens and stuff like that uh that and then also again gardens so leaf wing uh so yes Leyland is a leaf wing silk wing hybrid um but she is a second generation hybrid and i will get to that later in the story before i do though i want to point out a few um character design details if you look at her overall design she has a lot of colors that kind of clash with each other but at the same time, kind of flow, but like her skin is just very, very busy. She has splotches, she has scales sticking out. Um, she has like pinks and greens and then purplish gray colors. And then her like hands are bluish, but then she has gold accents. And then she has like these dark brownish colors. So it's just like, what is going on? <laughs> she would definitely be noticeable in a crowd of dragons. And that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted her to be like this very odd uh, looking dragon uh, because of her being a hybrid um, most hybrids that i see are usually they flow very nicely and i think it's so cool but with leyland i was able to just express the whole chaos so yeah definitely just dumped a bunch of paint on her skin and called it good um but i had a lot of fun the whole busyness of the character is definitely something that i was going for uh that and then i tried to calm it down with like the simplicity of the tail and the simplicity of the wings there's not too much going on i originally wanted to do splotches there but that was just going to be way too much uh speaking of which um for the wings this is the last pointer i promise the wings i purposely made them smaller than the dragon would need because i did not want her to be a flyer i wanted her to be a glider because of the environment that she's in uh, she lives in a very dense foresty jungle area and so i wanted her to just kind of glide from treetop to treetop uh, her wings are not very meant for you know long distance or even short distance flights um, they would definitely not hold out but she can glide now uh for the story bit um Leyland's overall story is coping with loss. Uh, Leyland was born to a hybrid and a pure breed, which nominates her a second generation hybrid. Um, and Leyland was supposed to look like a leaf wing and not resemble a lot of uh, silkling. And Leyland was supposed to not endure the hardships that her mother had. Um, and yet, when Leyland was born, <laughs> Uh, all of that hope had gone down the drain. Uh, her mother had initially been very discouraged, but she knew that Leyland would still be her flower of hope. So as Leyland grew, she became just that. Um, when her family had endured hard times, or uh, there was maybe a struggle inside of her family, she would always focus on the good things that they had. And uh, even when things seemed like there was nothing good at all, 
um, she would always come up to her mom or her dad and just say a simple, I love you. And it would put a smile on their faces. And uh, she definitely became that little flower of hope for her family. But one day that all changed. Laylin ended up losing her father um, after certain events that had occurred. And she was old enough to understand how much it affected her mom but she never realized how greatly it would have taken a toll on her. Uh, The next year, she ends up losing her mother to grief. Now, Laylin was feeling very lost and alone, and so she turned to her adopted aunt for comfort and for help. And her and her aunt both went through the grief together and were able to cope with that. Um, However, Laylin was done being um, overcome by grief And she understood that no matter how much she tried, the pain would not go away. But she understood that she had a choice. And that choice was to either let the grief completely take control of her life and weigh her down, or she could use this situation as a way to help others. But she still did want to continue her family's legacy and keep those memories alive of her parents. Um, And so Leyland took the woven basket of her mother and took her father's journal and every day without fail she would always be early morning in the woods finding a new flower to document and looking for beautiful flowers for her mother's floral shop when she would come back home she would document the flowers and run experiments on what the flowers can be used for medicinally and um, even in just everyday recipes just like her father would and she would also run the floral shop But not only this, but her mother had always loved when Leyland would embroider her mother's favorite flowers. And so Leyland, on top of documenting and running a business, would also embroider flowers that her mother loved and would gift them to others who were hurting and always give them that little piece of hope. So this is Leyland's story. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Again, congratulations, Clover, for 1K. That is just so cool. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed my entry. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye.